Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. You know, one of my favorite features of my iPhone 12 is its wireless charging and its MagSafe magnetic back. I was looking for a mount for my card that could hold my phone and charge it at the same time. Luckily for me, my boys over at Car Phone Zone hooked it up with a sleek magnetic mount charger. Imagine the look on my friends' faces when I pull out my sexy iPhone 12 and slap that bad boy onto the magnetic mount. And if that's not enough sauce, when they hear that sound and realize that it's also a charger, uh, they look at me like I'm a god. In fact, I love the attention so much, I headed on over to Car Phone Zone myself and picked up a leather multifunctional car seat organizer. Now, whenever I pick up a girl for a date, she'll see how organized I am as soon as she hops in the whip. And she'll take a look at the magnetic mount with the fully juiced up iPhone 12. Uh, always ready to go. So go ahead and check out carphonezone.com for all your car and phone accessory needs. And Carphone Zone is hooking it up fat. Ricker and Bond listeners get a 15% discount when they use code PODCAST at checkout. That's PODCAST, all capital letters. 15% off store-wide. And you know they got that free shipping. Don't even play. CarphoneZone.com. Check them out now. What's going on, everybody? It's Friday, and you're listening to Ricker and Bond, the podcast. You're a Ricker and Bond audience member, and that means you're loved more than your mother loves you. We love you more than that. It's the weekend. You fucking made it. Psych. You don't have a job. You unemployed, bitch. Welcome to the podcast. It's Ricker and Bond. You know, if you make your own income, then you can always be unemployed. Psych, you can't do that either because you don't have hands. Ah. Oh, wait. Make it TikTok. I don't know. Frick your mind enjoy. This fucking blow up. People without hands. What? How come you don't want me? You know that new fact that you're looking for? If you want to keep going, I will keep going tonight. What's up? me out i had my fair share of women fillers don't catch me now don't act like i'm average they had their own air horn oh that wasn't you they preempted my air horns and i kind of echoed their air horns what was up with that filter on tyler's voice i think it was brent because he said a woman and i didn't like it i feel like it was a thing where it's like brent and tyler in there and tyler was like oh dude i do this cool thing where my voice lowers I used to do it when I called people bad names. <laughs> oh, dude, don't even bother opening Pro Tools, bro. I got GarageBand right here. <laughs> yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch it down so you're going to sound like a demon, dude. It'll be sick. Yeah. Dude. Oh, <laughs> mixing and mastering? Nah, we don't do that here. It's auto I'm going to have to give that another another chance later. In it'll, the day. Probably, probably, it'll probably end up being in your ears a couple times more than it was. It'll probably slap. It'll probably sound better in the summer. Honestly. Yeah, Tyler was, sounds better in the summer for me. Yeah, I heard. I heard some Tyler Tylerism chords in there. A little yeah. Be do be we woo woo woo. It was a uh, kind of bright. Yeah, it was that uh that Ty Ty and that Brett Fayaz. What's up, everybody? You're listening to Ricker and Bond. The show on the radio on the podcast, Ricker and Bond FM, in your ears. There's a 
you know your boys uh hamish and andy my boys they're the australian duo that does podcasting uh-huh and i bring them up sometimes because they're funny funny boys but don't post on youtube like at all uh they have a podcast where they remember things they did on their podcast and it's it's just a grand old time dude they just have a grand it's a great time really i feel like you gotta be a fan to enjoy that no they, they're just funny bro <laughs> No, they just uh, talk about things that they used to do that was somewhat eventful, and then they're just funny about it. It's great. Damn, I wish I was funny. Yeah, it's one of those things. You get your chops up with the funniness, and then they're like, ooh, improv. Or they're loud and boisterous. Or uh, or they're just fun chaps, dude. Do Australians say chaps? Do Australians say anything? Yeah. Oi. It, there's some oil in there. I Fresh to, kangaroo on the bobby. Australian rules football. It's like rugby and American football, but it's in a giant circle. And uh, I don't know. It's cool. Australian rules football. I used to bet on it sometimes. Rick and Bond, dude. Episode 255. I would like to say I could be wrong. Don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> Please come at us yeah. in the comments. Someone out there. Everybody in the comments is like, oh, you're always shouting out episode numbers and you're getting it misconstrued. And they're like, we really don't appreciate it. And they send an emoji where it's like a collared shirt and a handshaking because they're cordial with their uh, disgruntledness. So how it works. Yeah. They're pretty nice over there in the comments, Rick and Bond on Instagram. You can come up here on Thursdays, whouse.live slash R&B seat. Come up, be like, hey, I'm on Zoom, you're on Zoom, we're all on Zoom. Could bring up some, I did some fact checking on the uh, executive order thing. All presidents are just splooging out of executive orders all years, dude. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really? I, I don't think that's true. How many did Bush do? It was a whole lot, Ski. Really? It was more than two? Yeah, definitely more than just a few. Oh, uh, okay. Marketplace NPR lied <laughs> to me. What did they say? They only had five? They said exactly what I said. Damn. I, I, I saw a .gov and they had a whole lot of executive orders. Maybe they had a different category, but a whole lot of exec orders. Oh, uh, nice. How's it going? Chilling, uh, just doing what I've been doing for a couple months now. Uh, money, and then different money, less music, eating, still eating, still got a place to live, and uh, water to drink. So it's cooling right now. Nice. You ever going to move out? You ever going to? Yeah. Hitch a ride on the train. Not to the LA? train. Not to LA, to wherever. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah, there's nothing going on out here. <laughs> You're not missing anything. No, just uh, somewhat similar rent to San Diego. Yeah, similar rent, but if I had to choose, I would choose LA. It's, it's a nice place. Because I feel like San Diego is more old. Sure. I could see that. You know, and like, Ellie's like, yeah, man, let's smoke weed, man. I don't know. I, I'm sure you could find a few let's smoke weed manners over in San Diego. But yeah, it's concentrated, a whole lot of people. And it's like, there's probably a, a bigger percentage of younger age people in LA. Yeah, Maybe. Dude. I don't know. It's one of the biggest cities in the United States. I'm sure there's some kind of number discrepancy between one and some other city. I'm if sure you go down to Qualcomm Stadium, dude, I know that probably tugs your heartstring. Qualcomm Stadium. Yeah, I That's... know. I know, dude. I know. You don't even got to get me started. It's uh, it's heartbreaking. It really is. But It's anyway. called Qualcomm Stadium? Yeah, dude. It's just a staple San Diego, uh, you know, Padres used to play there. Chargers used to play there. Yeah, we're going to Qualcomm Stadium. 
Yeah. Qualcomm. And they, they tore it down, man. No more Qualcomm. They're just going to make it SDSU West is what I'm hearing around the, the grapevines. They might put a retreat in there or something. Damn. No one even knows what Qualcomm is. They, they make some kind of electronic it's, thing. It's a microchip company. They were going to blow it up, dude, but uh, they had a river and they're worried about it. The environment It's like alright So they tore it down Like pussies By hand A couple months dude Taking a pickaxe Like it's So lame ugh, It's like Blow it up <laughs> Fuck the river Fuck the fish River dude Who you I'm not Jumping in it Fuck the environment Is what I say God damn Someone broke into my car Last night Did they My brand new car And here's the thing Here's the kicker You'll never guess What they took um, You'll never guess. I bet you, you won't guess. In Bon Jin's car, possibly. One, a radio, probably. Radio's probably definitely in there. The uh, radio is still in there. The radio's in there still. I Other, don't think you can take that out in this car. Yeah. <laughs> People have, have, have lost the art of radio stealing over the years. It's really sad, but you know, it's what the times are. Yeah. Um, maybe you have a weekend CD in there? Nah. Yeah. I mean, it was part of the car. I took a part of the car with them. <laughs> Damn. Like, okay. Is it in, in the interior of the car? Yeah. Thing that can be taken out. Maybe you had a headrest taken. They took the fucking airbag. <laughs> what? <laughs> they took the middle part of the steering wheel and oh, really? took that shit out. Yeah. And the passenger seat mat. And <laughs> apparently. Honda Civic airbags are hot commodities on the black market. Nice. Especially 2020. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, do some good gains for up. you, sir. <laughs> but it was so well, fucking weird. It was like they fucking broke the lock yeah. and rolled down all the windows and they like disabled the horn. Yeah. Got the airbag and dipped and they just left all the windows down. They didn't break any windows. Everything was like, there was shit to steal in there. There was like phone chargers and shit, but they just left everything. Like they knew what they were coming for. They had their entry. They had their exit, dude. That's good planning. Yeah, I was like, damn. That's and I wonder, I wonder if last night, if I heard my alarm going off and I just didn't think about it because I always hear alarms. Yeah. You should specialize your alarm. So it's a weekend song. Yeah. If I had like a Tesla, it would sound different. Probably. Probably maybe, I don't know, false alarm. I probably get a fucking an alert on my phone from like, yo, your shit's being jacked right now. So how did you figure out that the airbag of a Honda Civic 2020 is a is a, a good price right now for people? I just looked up why would someone steal an airbag, <laughs> and then like a bunch of articles came up about Honda Civics saying, look, I'm just gonna look up. Market's going crazy. Why would someone steal? It's, my it's airbag the classic honda civic 2020 airbag pump and dump dude why uh why would someone steal my airbag airbag thefts and hondas are up as thieves aim to resell this is from 2018 um airbag oh. stolen from fairfax county neighbors cars reflect a national trend airbag thefts airbag stolen from 23 cars in north laurel people are stealing airbags <laughs> to north sell in the black north. market thieves are targeting your new honda accord and they want the airbag Thieves are targeting airbags and honda accord. i have a civic though i guess it's the same airbag mm. but that's lame yeah so i'm definitely preparing for uh, a 500 to a thousand dollar price to replace that piece of my vehicle so i'm not very thrilled at least you got windows. At least I got windows. You know? At least my, like... <laughs> so, so when My you... electric skateboard had been in my trunk for, like, a week, and I took it out yesterday. Oh. Did so, you think they popped the trunk? They could have. They had, like, access. They were in the car. They were probably in the car for, like, at least a couple of minutes getting that shit out. Smoked the bowl? Probably smoked. I mean, now nah, they left it clean. They vacuumed. <laughs> They, they put shit away uh, why did they take my fucking mat though dude hmm. it's like they had to be like yo passenger seat mats in 2020 Honda Accords this shit's rare as fuck I gotta grab this <laughs> I mean it's a, it's only gonna get more expensive from here you know that's bullshit that's quite something 
I'm yeah, so yeah. now I'm driving around. Like, my car looks beautiful on the outside, and you get inside, and it's like, ugh. What the fuck? Like, there's no horn to honk? There's no horn to honk. And when you lock it, there's no sound. But when you press the alarm, the alarm still makes a noise. Which okay. is weird. Which is weird. What is, isn't that the same sound? They made it, maybe triggered it. I don't know what's going on. So if any of you are listening to Rick and Bond and you did indeed steal an airbag recently uh, in February 4th area, February 3rd, uh, just, you know, send a picture of it just to confirm it was you. I'm not going to press charges or anything. Just want to, you know, good on you, mate. That's Even though I already filed today. a police report, if you just return it, <laughs> I'll be like, maybe hey, nothing will happen because it's it back. LAPD doesn't give a fuck. Just, I just want my I'm sure piece to my car back. Too. And also, can you give me my mat back? Damn. What do you think the percentage is on LAPD getting people for car theft? probably very high because they'll pull you over if you don't have not car theft with thievery inside of a car uh probably very low yeah yeah stealing a car that's pretty easy you kind of got a specific bolo or something out and like hey that's that car you're like in the the thing that you're stealing (laughs) you pull them over and they're super not the owner of that car and you know that off top (laughs) <laughs> and you're like, yo, what's up, my guy? You stole this car? And they probably just smart. go around just Take putting off. in license plates, just saying, registered, 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 registered. Yo, that's that one that's been stolen since last week. Let's pull this guy over. Got him. Yeah. Got him. Wait, black? Pull him over. Not stolen, though? Not stolen? Black? Nah. Has a job? While we're here. Family's in the car? Get him. Book him, boys. And then, you know, the, you watch those those Fox 5 helicopter uh, car chases. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how, but sometimes they just pop up on Twitch, dude. Those are, those are always good. They usually find them. Choppers. <laughs> and then you really got to, the, the, the anchorman got to be on their game, dude. You got a whole lot of nothing going on. He's just kind of a guy speeding down. But you gotta be honest, like, oh goodness, here's twenty fifth and Willard dude pulling up into a random blue house. So I, sometimes I wonder if I was in a car chase, if I would like do well. <laughs> if I was driving if I was navigating LA yeah. at like night, I think at I'd night. be okay. Because there'd yeah. be less there'd be less a lot less traffic. That's usually when it pops off. Yeah, and then, you know, I'm not saying, I definitely wouldn't lose them, but I think I'd be able to, like, you, you like just let show. them chase me for a little bit. Put on and, then, show. and then I'd be like, oh, okay, they're probably going to block me off up here. I got to get off over here on fucking Flower, and then I got to keep going east or whatever. Oh, shit, they fucking blocked off that fucking thing. I'm going to go this way on this one-way street. There's a fucking underground garage under here. I'm going to fucking baby driver this bitch and go under there. Go three levels underground and come back up on the other side and then just literally just hop out and then jump into another car. I think I also YouTube clipped baby driver. Baby driver. I remember clips from it, but I'm pretty sure I didn't watch it. I wish I could do that shit and then just hop into another dimension and not get charged. Not get charged. Classic. Not deal with any death. That's every okay. young boy's dream. Or maybe I would like get charged a little bit just to see what it's like. Maybe just get tackled by by twenty wow. huge police officers and then just get booked. But yeah. then they take my fucking gun, my portal gun, and I'm like, fuck, I'm stuck here. Damn. Damn. Yeah, they would probably take that gun. They would definitely take it. They'd probably be shooting. How did no one just get murdered rushing the Capitol? <laughs> because white. By officers, but yeah. That's Why great. aren't they just shooting them? <laughs> just Why oh, were they that. just opening fire? Or at least like a little a little beating here and there. Come on. Or now. at least some pellet guns, like at <laughs> very least. Let's get some some brutality equity here, boys. Come on. Damn. It's like, who's like, I don't know. I don't know who our leader is. That's how it'd be. Damn. I wonder how Biden's going to do. He's probably just back to status quo politicianing. 
besides as the whole as, pandemic and economic situation. Well, as long as he makes Dogecoin a national currency, he's oh, my got, president. You've seen, you've seen USD go down, dude. You got to put that Doge Doge up. Bro. Bitcoin up. Pump, uh, pump, Bitcoin pump it up. up. You just got to pump that BTC and then once you're in those shit coins, dude, it's all uphill from there. ETH at an all-time high. That's fun little DeFi game. Don't have any of it. Don't have a single ETH. Yeah. Yeah, play some uh, decentralized finance coin. They're kind of having it their own run, their own days in the sun. I need to get, to, I need to, I need like a second job. Or I need some fucking, I need like a YouTube video to like pop off or something. Like, just some 80 bucks. <laughs> I just need some fucking, some Robin Hood money. Some quick cappy, dude. I just need some quick cappy. I'm trying to grow this nut. Yeah. Nest. Nut. I'm trying to grow. This nut. Oh, man. Fuck you, motherfucker, who stole my goddamn airbag. That's all you got to do, dude. I mean, the answer's right in front of you. You got a Honda, Honda 2020 Civic yourself. You just got to find other 2020s and uh, get that airbag. I wonder how much he gets for that fucking airbag. Probably at least... 3,000 doge. Probably. Oh, t- probably at least $3,000. Doge is a point. <laughs> Apparently there's a doge pump tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, bro. And if that shit gets to 10 cents, I'm going to shed 30% of my position. I mean... And then buy some big boy stocks. <laughs> Bitcoin's still going up, so you're probably in an okay position. Yeah, but Bitcoin is like... Everything Real. follows the BTC, man. Sometimes what? You got little spikes and other shit coins, but once that Bitcoin goes up, everything just ripples and ripples. No pun intended. I didn't realize how difficult it was to buy Dogecoin not on Robinhood. Yeah, some people are interested in if it will move the way it has moved historically. It's being picked up by um, some marketplace. But people are wondering if it's going to move how they've been trading it, if it goes kind of more public than it is right now. It's getting a lot of attention from uh, Elon and Mark Cuban. I think I I saw a tweet from that guy from Kiss. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So that's how you know it's real. Cuban's kind of big into crypto, actually, from what I've seen. Story. Yeah, Cuban's a smart guy. Fucking Elon's just a memester. <laughs> probably <laughs> he, he tweets out whenever there's a natural pump going on, and everyone's like, "Yo, Elon moves markets, dude." He's probably like, he probably just has a fine bitch over, and he's like, "Hey, you want to see me turn this one billion into two billion in fifteen minutes with a tweet?" And then he just tweets <laughs> Doge, and then it just shoots up. I don't think it's all him. When he tweets, Uh, I don't know if that's a one-to-one pump there. Dog, it's definitely, I I am so sure of this. I'm so sure of this. Because, like, every time he tweets, it fucking just shoots up. It's crazy. Like, 30%, not 30%, but a lot. Like, half a cent. And then it dies down a little bit. And then it just chills at the same price. And then, and then people on fucking Twitter are begging him to tweet about it again and he tweets and then it shoots up it's like i don't like it that's what a shit coin does (laughs) yeah but you know you gotta do what you gotta do you make money off of it though you gotta do what you gotta do to buy more airbags second trimester maybe Uh, i don't know sounds like you want to get there let's do it either way yeah we are peace New record and ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way to be dead, Mac Miller. Whoa.
It's like the opposite of trying to be alive, dude. Come on. Whoa. Really messed it up there, buddy. Get in the studio. Come on. Like, you were popping. You had everything in front of you, and you just fall off like that. Dude, Dude see, this, this is what happens when you this let a is, fucking woman get the in work your ethic. fucking The work ethic head. just depletes, dude. It's like, you got to stay on top of your game. And I haven't heard a new Mac Miller song get who, uh, Lord knows how long, dude. Yeah. Fell like, off the on, face dude. of the earth, damn it. The man. kids are going to forget who you are for sure. Gosh, like you got to compete with Emily Chaba, with you gotta Russ. You got to compete with Thugga Thug. <laughs> Young thug, dude, you've heard the the one Young line thug, where he says "squirt on thug. the couch." Ew, dude. Little you Wayne might that make one a line resurgence. Where he says "fuck Mac Miller." <laughs> Everybody <laughs> does. Young and he thugs. said that after his death too. The disrespect. You're gonna let him say that to you. A deep history of Young Thug versus Mac Miller. Everybody knows it. Dude, it's dude. the nastiest beef in hip hop. Mac Miller's been silent for years now. It's like, come on, you got to step up. You got to defend yourself. He better be dropping some heat soon. So. Did you see the little clip of someone in Clubhouse talking to Tory Lane saying, why did you shoot Meg the Sally? <laughs> oh, I didn't. What happened there? Someone was in Clubhouse. Tory Lane was in Clubhouse. And someone said, hey, why did you shoot Meg the Stallion? And then everyone was like, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Don't say that about our yeah. overlord Tory. The second their dick in Clubhouse, you know, I was like, well, I mean, it's a solid question. Why did you shoot Meg the Stallion? Yeah. That's just, that's grade A journalism right there. Everybody's trying he, to shoot it down, dude. He wanted to feel 5'5 five, five for a day. So. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to put on your heels and be 5'3 like Tory Lanez did, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tory Lanez, damn. Tory Lanez put on Magnus Stallion's heel and still wasn't taller than her and he got real pissed, dude. That's so degrading. I mean, it was just no a wonder. Hole. I would also... <laughs> reach in my pocket and pull out a small gun as i'm exiting a vehicle to go to a party a tiny and tiny shoot gun, dude. my guest in the foot meg the stallion grabbed him by the throat forced her shoes onto him and made him stand up straight and said hey this is how much less of a man you are he's still not taller than me and then she like squeezed her thighs on her head his head and then next thing you know he's just shooting Kylie's kid face. Listen here, little boy. Is what she said to him, probably. <laughs> Shoved him, dude. Such a such a strong. Honestly, she probably woman. bullied her. He's probably she probably bullied him. He was probably crying. She was laughing, snickering at a, a grown man crying. And S what's the one thing you do when you're not masculine enough? You shoot somebody. Dude. Such a masculine woman she is. Imagine she comes up and she's like, "Where's my money, bitch?" <laughs> and you're just like. Come on, Meg, not today. I don't have any more. <laughs> Please. And she's like, I'm fucking hungry. I want my fucking food. Where's my money, bitch? And you're like, <laughs> Meg, please, I this is all I, this is all I have. And she's like, I know you got more for me. And then she shoves you and you start crying a little bit. But you don't want her to shove you more, but she does it anyway. And so you just give her all your money and it's just not a great Wednesday. And you shoot her, bro. So you pull out your pistol. <laughs> <laughs> your little elementary school pistol. This will you show her. What only a rational elementary school person would do. Damn. I really, uh, I made a boo-boo. I you fucked do? up hard. What'd you do? So bad. Bought a call option, a nice little call option, too. Okay. Deep in the money, deep in the future. Okay. But there was a wide bid-ask spread. You know what that is, right? Yes. For those who don't, bid ask spread is the difference between the bidding price and the asking price. For example, one dollars and two dollars is a very wide spread. You want a couple cents, preferably. This one had okay. a wide bid ask spread. It was for Global Star, that cheap ass stock, and it was like a two dollar difference. Okay. I don't know what I pressed, but I ended up paying the most for it. So I am automatically sixty six percent in the hole. Dang. And the break-even price for this, for those of you who don't know, the break-even price is the strike price plus the premium you paid for it, is three forty-five. So it is two years to get to three dollars and forty-five cents. I'm gonna try to sell it for as much as I got it for, but I don't mm -hmm. think anyone's gonna buy it. Someone was probably selling it for a while, waiting for some <laughs> schmuck to 
and would come by not paying attention oh, and man. that was me Damn. I could definitely make money from this but I'm not gonna start making money for fucking eons probably possibly dude or yeah, so, you know something happens and it's a good old Friday <laughs> it could shoot it could shoot up to $14 next week you never know also bought a lot more of this fucking stock I bought some I bought like 400 I bought like 380 shares and I sold three calls my first call sold and I made eighteen dollars from it, and I bought more shares with it. So now I have four hundred and six. It's a whole lot of five G. It's a whole lot of five G. So I just kind of want, <laughs> just kind of want uh, this to go up a little bit, so I can fucking buy some Uber, get to a hundred of Uber, and call it a day. You know, retire. Sure. <laughs> that's 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 the goal. It's it's that simple, dude. Once you get those that hundred ubi, dude. Hundred ubi, yeah, dude. So hopefully this stock doesn't plummet to sixty cents. But five G is a thing. You never know who could acquire. You never know. AT and T could be like, yo, we want some satellites. You're making satellites, and then you equal AT and T. And then that the up. stock will shoot up, maybe, because that's a huge deal. It went from like thirty cents to ninety cents because of a Nokia deal. Mm. So, Might have been some memory in that Nokia. So <laughs> like, up is up, I suppose. Down is is also down. Up is up. Uh, maybe somehow I can get to a thousand shares of this, and then just start sprinkling contracts. Just over. Just call me the Global Star Contract Fairy. Sure. Just fucking Get just that, calls. That micro action with the algorithm, dude. The micro, just just pulling in, just pulling in a little bit of a little bit of premium each week, just reinvesting. Just, it's yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Right on, global star. Global star. Not financial advice, but also Not financial, all entertainment, all. Get comedy. so many of it, dude. Get all of it. All Get of all it. Of I'm it, giving dude. away. <laughs> 50 shares of Global Star and 10,000 Doge to the first person who can guess this Mariah Carey song. <laughs> is that Hit it. I don't know. I, don't, I guess Doge isn't, but can you give away stock like that? What? Can you give away stock? I don't know. If if my Doge was in an actual wallet, I could give it to someone. Yeah. But stock, though. Stock? I don't. It's like, here, it's yours. I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Bastards, dude. Bastards. <laughs> they they don't want me to spread this global star around. Who want me to fucking? They know the damage that GS can do, man. The G sat. Everybody out there, go and pump this think, shit to the moon. I think that's illegal. I think that's illegal. Hey, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Free country, bro. Oh, oh yeah. wait, wait, wait. It is no, it illegal. I, I think that's illegal. <laughs> Hey, no, it's not. This is all parody. Don't don't buy it. <laughs> don't. I mean, they, they, those the rap songs that they tried to call as parody. They, I actually think that worked in the in the legal system. But I'm just kidding about that. Don't <laughs> buy it. They also make really, really, really ugly phones. Oh, cool. You should yeah. buy one. And I, with Qualcomm, of all people. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, don't bring it up, dude. I know. Once the Qualcomm Stadium goes down, GSAC goes up. That's how, it went. <laughs> That's how it's worked ever since the 20s, man. You can see it clear on the chart when the Qualcomm Stadium goes down, GSAC goes up. Global Star <laughs> Stadium, baby. That'd so, yeah, fun. this is my journey. Did I tell you about my plan to one day purchase the Clippers from Steve Ballmer? No, I would, I would love to hear it. Yeah, is it similar to Gary V's, Gary V's New York jet journey? Oh, oh yeah. I knew he wanted to buy someone. Yeah, yeah. But who gives a fuck about the Jets when you got the clips? Is it parallel to Mark Cuban's Maverick ownership journey, except he already owns it and didn't really make it like a social content thing? Uh, I just kind of had it because he had excess money. I just want to own a team. Yes, yes, yes. And what better team than the Clippers? Do you know that there's n a new league, bro? Probably, probably great price for uh, women's hockey, man. Boston Pride, 
you got your uh other teams that I didn't follow, but they're they're streaming on Twitch, dude. You might want to make a bid for one of the teams, man. Women's hockey. Women's hockey. What's hockey? Professional. What's hockey? N N H L. Yes, it, it's a W N H L. I think. What are your thoughts on? I think there was a thing. I think there was a thing about Biden. Damn, my shit's dark. About Biden, like passing one of his good old executive orders making it illegal to not allow trans people in the sport that they identify with and then a lot of women were like yo now we're just gonna get clobbered in all of our sports so yeah like, women were really upset with it yeah i saw that as well probably anti that what saw with UFC on, uh, before. UFC people just got clobbered by people that were men for most of their lives. Just destroyed. Yeah, make a make a nice uh, a trans league. Yeah, but that doesn't really work with the whole orientation that would make thing. It worse. But yeah, but once you got the, uh, I don't know, be like, hey, if you got those those medical papers, and we'll put you over here in this category. I don't know. Doesn't really work with what the. The people that are being like, yo, I'm a woman. <laughs> and someone's like, nah, dude, you're trans. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just like, yo, if you used to be a dude, yeah, you yeah. got to start the race all the way back here. <laughs> okay? You got to start a thousand meters behind <laughs> okay, everyone or, else. Or you can, you can <laughs> start with start with everybody. You know, same the same level place. But, you know. But we break you, your ankles. <laughs> you used to be a man, you know, transition to a woman. All you got to do is wear a strap on as you're going down the track, dude. A strap on? So that yeah, was, yeah. I don't I don't get it. So while you while this while this transition woman is is kind of has a advantage being kind of a a man DNA, you yeah. can still you can still race these women on the track, but you just got to have a a plastic dick dangling between your legs as you as you beat them. What if though the person is still fully man, but they're like I identify as a woman, so I'm gonna race with uh, these girls. Uh, fully, li- literally decided today. Hey, I'm a girl now. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy shaves twice a day. Yeah, He's yeah. a gorilla. <laughs> Smells like cologne. <laughs> Dude, there's a there's a chick who's a trans chick on her, on AEW, is a wrestling league, uh-huh. and she's just like huge. And she's just like a, a huge woman used to be a man. Just ripping people apart, dude. It is also wrestling, so it's kind of fake ripping people apart, but... Thoughts on annoying, uh, separate leagues. For? For sports, you know, like WNBA. NBA. It's, it's, it's all cool. <laughs> it's all cool. You know, but you mean like, Kobe, uh, used to, Kobe used to be like, yo, my daughter's going to be the first girl in the NBA. Uh, I thought that was sweet, but I don't think that was ever going to happen. Well, you know, man, if if a, if a chick can ball out against some NBA dudes, sure. Like, Someone made an interesting fucking who did? I don't know. Someone was talking about it. Forgot mm-hmm. who it fucking was. But they were saying like, um, because in the WNBA, the hoop's a little lower and the ball's a little smaller. Mm-hmm. So, because like girls have smaller hands, so if they were to put women in the NBA, would that change, making it easier for the men? Because then, because then, like you're essentially it's two separate games, of, different games of basketball, because it's essentially separate rules, you know. Mm-hmm. That's where it's like also difficult. If you're a woman, you can ball out in the NBA regulations, dude. Ball out, man. It is kind of a thing where, like, if, uh, well, then, yeah. So, NBA, you got a bunch of superior genetic dudes. And it, so, kind of going from a man NBA to, like, WNBA, you're probably going to get ruined. But uh, if there's a chick that can ball like AI, man, sure, why not? I feel like the men would go less hard. If there's women on the court, that's that's it, man. If it's it's easy pickings, bro. I'm just trying to get these buckets and try to win a championship, man. Just destroying. If you're in my man. league, you're in my league, bro. Kevin Durant just just, just get yacked on, dude. Why are you in the post, Stephanie? 
Get out on the perimeter, man. Get out of here. Get your tits out of the way, Steph. You, Steph. You're six one, dude. You're six one in in a skinny little girl, dude. I'm seven one, and I will bang on you, man. You better stick to those threes and that good dribble, bro. Bang. You're, not you're still not. You're still not up. tall enough to nail a three on this court. I'm sure someone could acclimate to someone, uh, a chick who's played WNBA to playing some NBA rules. Really? You don't think a 7 1 guy would just be like, oh, that's cute, and just smack that to the moon? Smack yeah, that into as, his fucking. As you would do any hit. other 6 1 person. 6 1 dude. You got to play your position. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not saying a, a point, a woman point guard could dunk on Kevin Durant, but. Can pull up for a three and if you can got some sweet moves, bro. Damn, take they it to the rim. Fucking practice those threes. Yeah. Maybe they can meet in the middle with a medium sized ball. Yeah. If it would seem like if there's just hella super talented women, it's it'd be like, well, because I mean, you got smaller handed dudes, bro. It's like this is what the ball size is. Get over it. Uh, <laughs> there's, I'm there's sorry. Even, I'm sorry. Anyone over. I don't think there's anyone in the NBA that has small hands. There's a, a classic Stephen A. Smith, Cormay Brown was a, a draft person that was kind of a bust. And there was a anniversary of it. And there was Stephen A. Smith that was uh, ragging on his small hands. People got small hands, man. They the probably don't make it to the league because they can't grip that ball, bro. They got to they gotta pass the palm test. If you can't palm, you got to not... You if you can stick ball, you can class. ball, bro. You gotta stick to palming the ball is like such an advantage. It's like the biggest advantage ever, probably, besides being tall. Just the control you have. Mm hmm. Like, I, I can't do that. That shit is like. My shit's still not. I probably could if I tried, but it'd be difficult. Yeah. Probably won't be posting people up, dude. 6 1 Stephanie probably is not gonna do some post moves on. Uh boogie cousins but you can shake and bake out there man get yacked on if you're not you better hit the weight room though definitely hit the weight room and make it a double (laughs) you can take you can take testosterone it's it's probably a performance enhancing thing they probably got a a oh shit you're right Hmm. yeah at least UFC has that I'm sure that uh leagues have Rules against that as well. Then the girls would just want to fuck all the time. They'd be like, I can't focus on the game. I just want to fuck. I mean. And their clits grow bigger. Maybe, dude. Some people might be focused. (laughs) I mean, if you're an NBA player and you see a bunch of hot women in the the stands, are you going to be like, oh, man. Ooh, there goes my brain. Dude can't play the game anymore. Well, when you have unlimited access to women, I'm sure you get over it and it's pretty easy to focus on the game. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure LeBron doesn't bat an eye when he sees a fine girl. There's probably a couple of plays, man. He gets a little tripped up. Me, if I entered the NBA today, if I woke up tomorrow, the best basketball player on the planet, I'd probably wow out for a month or two and then be like, all right, I'm over it. Now let's just focus on basketball. Yeah. Probably get a couple of STDs, become a father a couple of times, and then be like, all right, let's do it. Classic. I'm game. It's just the all classic right. NBA route. Trimester three. Woo woo. I have to pee. Yeah, daddy. Yeah, yeah. Hell yes, boys and girls. It's Rick and Bond, third trimester. It's the Friday episode when this is being put out. Whenever you're listening to it is the best time to listen to it. It's Sirius XM 1023, The Roll. Nothing but rock and... 
rock and ska jazz. <laughs> what is what is ska jazz? It's ska jazz, bro. So there's ska, like you know, like I, I'm thinking of ska. You do the whole like elbow thing, and people have like checkered vans on. Mm-hmm. And then jazz, you got your your jazz folks, Coltrane, John Mayer. <laughs> Yeah, then there's that ska jazz. Okay. All right, ska yeah. jazz. That's so kind of like a jazz and ska. You know, dude, there's probably somewhere out there. I'm going to do a quick little YouTube search. I if, just want to party with you. If you yourself are a... Oh, there actually is ska jazz. This is interesting. Let me just do a little quick. Just a little quick. I just want to do a little quick, dude. Freaking Disney, bro. Damn, I bought dude. Disney briefly and then sold it to so I can consolidate into other stuff long term. How's Disney doing? Uh, I don't have it. I sold it so I can consolidate into other stuff long term. Mm-hmm. But it's a. Uh, I feel like it's a safe bet. Yeah, Disney's always safe unless you know it's not. Uh, yeah, that's what GameStop that's is the hype good. finally dead. Forty nine dollars. That was Scott Jazz. Uh, it's looking like it. I mean, that's <laughs> still. Well, what did it start at? That was like the starting of it, wasn't it? Like it was like Dead Cat, four bucks, wasn't it? Uh, its lowest part wrong? is fifty-two week low was, I believe, like two dollars. Yeah, hey, it's the, if you were in, you still got a pretty good price to get out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I I was on YouTube, and I was watching people. Shit's like a religion, dude. Like, that's That's what like, I said episodes ago when I was, there was, it was like before, there was just one week where it really popped off into the mainstream, and then you peak with Ja Rule, you gotta peak with Ja Rule, and there was a dude talking about it, and he was like, I'm not, it's weird, like, over boisterous people on both sides, I don't know why anyone would want to get into a dick lengthen yeah. contest on a stock that isn't worth a dick contest people losing tens of thousands of dollars holding because they think because they're like following <laughs> the trades of certain people on reddit and they're just like oh i believe it's gonna go back up and they're like 80 percent in the hole i'm just like dog it's over <laughs> <laughs> it's over man That's- i had a put for a little bit but I sold it because it was fucking me. But it was a really it was a really cheap put. It was like I paid twenty eight bucks for it for like a nine dollar strike price. And then like fucking GameStop went down and then it went back up and I lost it all and I was like, fuck this shit. And then it went oh back. Oh boy. Down. Yeah, so if I had held it, I think it expired tomorrow, so hmm. that would have been nice. Oh well. Mitigate that loss, dude. I wonder how much a put is right now. And I just want to party with games. <laughs> Dude, I was on... <laughs> I, I used Slack for the people that employ me. And one of the, the new hires that they bought alongside my hiring was mm-hmm. uh, was like randomly talking about it. Dude, I want to... Actually, I don't know. Just randomly in the Slack. Well, not super randomly because it was being talked about before. But... uh he was just like, you guys think the GameStop squeeze is over, even with an, a new ownership and possibly a digital, you know, outlook for the future, maybe a growth company, dude? And I was like, bro, you're going to ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Dog, I'm, I'm, a, I'm over here fuck? working 24-7, bro. There's nothing I'm looking at besides what I'm employed to do. Good news. You can get yourself a $1 half a cent strike price put. With a February 12th expiration date for only $1. Wow. A- actually, you can get a 1.5 strike price for $1. I'm going to scoop up a couple of these tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's funny. I want to buy like 50. What are the, what are the Greeks, dude? Tell me what they are and what they do. Oh, Jesus. They're not going to be fucking pretty. Let me go back to this. Buy, put. Uh, what are they and what do they mean, man? Teach all right. me. Okay, so our first Greek is going to be Delta. Delta 
is the amount of money you will make if the uh, underlying security, the stock moves one dollar. This one is negative zero 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 four. So I guess if you is that usually it's, negative. It's, it's well, okay. So if it's a put, it's negative. If it's a call, it's positive. I see, I see, Let me double check on that. Yep, that's correct. Um, gamma. Fuck. I always forget what gamma is. I think. Let me think. Let me think. I think gamma is. Could be wrong. I forgot. I forgot. Okay. And I think theta is, uh, th- I believe theta is time decay, your time decay. Vega is I don't know, and rho is I don't know. Sick. Yeah. Dude, there's these dudes, uh, essentially link, but they they have it, their own trading platform mm-hmm. um, called Doe, and they do lives every day. And it's usually a lot of option talk. You might want to look into it. Nice little solid kind of intermediate option stuff. I Fun do to hear. love options. They go hard, man. It's I like do. it's like your boy, uh, your Robin Hood boys, but cooler, you know. Not fucking Cause they have sheep. Shores. <laughs> Sheeple wouldn't fucking I mean, put they down their had, overlords at Robin Hood. They do also have to restrict because of a whole uh, clearing firm thing. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Holy shit, my uh, Spidey senses are going off There's a car alarm going off I gotta poke my head out the window real quick Do it real quick bro Cause everybody knows that those Honda Civic 2020 Airbags are at a premium Dude Not just Oh it's a cat dude The cat got scared Bon Jen has a cat And it's kinda like a grey cat And he was like Oh it's a little cat I For one am a fan of cats Of Why mostly they other just people's steal cats car? Because, you know, that would just burden too much too much of the owner, you know? They're like, hey, I need to get mine, but I know other people also need theirs. Then I could have just got a new car, you know? It's just probably for free. Hat. You can get a uh, new car for free, bro? Uh, insurance, <laughs> probably. I don't know how that works. 601, when is this pump starting? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you were deep on the forums, dude, and you were ready for it. I was trying to double this money so I can get 100 shares of Uber. And start selling some calls, cause that's that's what we're here for. We're here to sell calls, like these three calls I sold for Global Star. What are the Crips doing right now, man? The Crips. Yeah. I don't get it. Cryptocurrency. Oh, the crypto is going doing. <laughs> oh shit! You I don't thought know. I'm in a, a fraternity of brothers, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bitcoin's kind of correcting a bit. Keeping a nice little 36 level. So you're um, telling me I should put my... Four- Holy shit. I've never seen a plummet this fast. Look at Dogecoin right now. <laughs> Holy shit. It's like everyone knew. Wait, was that was that the pump? Was that it? That you might you might be getting the wave. You might be get a little discount, dude. <laughs> so I don't even think I can buy anymore because uh, that Robinhood restriction. Are they restricting some sick Doge? Well, I don't think you can buy crypto with settled funds with unsettled funds anymore. Uh, like with <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to buy non-walleted Doge with credit. Dude, it's literally a money copy machine. <laughs> That's what it does. Apparently it, has been doing for a while. I'm going to like, okay, I'm going to, I really don't, I really don't want to be this guy. I, I, I truly don't. Yes. What? But I feel like if I, if I follow these forums for a little bit, I'll be able to catch a wave. Now that I know, you could also now that do I like, understand the game a little bit. You could read some charts here and there. Oh, I read charts. I'm reading books. But, like, apparently these groups are moving, moving coordinated fucking movements, and they just, like, pump up stocks on one day. So if I just, like, throw a couple calls in on a stock they're talking about and see what happens, sure. reinvest it into some real some real stock. So for real sure. stock. <laughs> Higher price stock. <laughs> yeah. Um 
blue chip companies that'll actually be here in 10 years i mean the doge is is the penny stock of the world man as things go up i mean i guess penny stocks don't really correlate as easily but doge can make some capital bro i wonder yeah i wonder maybe i'll just like not even sell maybe i'll just hold it and just put some more money in for stocks consistent gains both way i guess you can't you can't sell on robin hood can you so short crypto no if i could i'd be dangerous go over there and go over there to bitrex or binance do they can you short crypto it's a it's it's kind of what people do with crypto <laughs> people trade it i keep trying to get into binance but it won't let me why not but Binance, I think, has a U.S. thing. That's why I kind of got scared from it. I'm still not sure which brokerage is dope for trading crypto, but... They won't send me an email. Uh, hmm. uh, verification email. After all your spam and all that? Yeah. Yeah, it might be a U.S. thing. Lame. Yeah, but uh, Bitrex and... Kraken. Kraken, BitMEX as well. I don't know. Dude, I, I haven't heard Kraken in a minute, dude. I remember hearing Mount just Gox. a tiny bit of Kraken since like 2017, not really knowing it, but I remember hearing it. Bit Instant? Never heard of it. It's probably okay. One of the first, uh, one of the first crypto Trading platforms. Platforms, yeah, it's gone now. Ah. Uh, yeah. Like Club Penguin. God, that was peak internet. Club Penguin? Yeah, big time. I'm sure people were with Club... I'm sure there was... What was Club Penguin year? I don't know we've gone over this a lot. <laughs> 2007. Were people doing some uh, some some Bitcoin over there? On Club Penguin? Uh, I mean, I think that in was 2007. Before Club, I think that was before Bitcoin's time. Was there any precursor Bitcoin? No. At all? There's been research papers on an idea but apparently bitcoin was like the perfect the perfect one ah uh, i haven't even locks. read like the entire paper apparently it's not very long apparently it's like nine pages of just algorithms and math equations and like people that understand it are just like holy shit this is <laughs> perfect i would have never thought of this this is fucking genius this is going to change finance and i'm just like all right do you know the clip in Silicon Valley where they're doing the, the jerk off calculations? Yeah. I feel I feel like that is is just the epitome of, of most things, dude. Everyone's just kinda like threw around a, a stupid idea and then someone's like, Oh, of course, man. That Fuck. that's what was going on, dude. Why didn't I think of it? I'm sure there's a cool YouTube video, breaks it down a little bit, but not too little bit where they get a little hardcore into the white paper yeah I'm sure it, actually it should, maybe, i don't really know what a white paper is but i think it tells what things are i don't know maybe I should stop, white paper on bitcoin maybe i should stop fucking around like a jerk off and just do bitcoin what do you mean <laughs> do bitcoin <laughs> it's, it, it, it's not fucking around with these clown coins oh yeah that's what well you know they're called shit coins for a reason but you can you can you can get some good uh I mean, price out of it, you know, and that's what people do. At least I have the benefit of understanding Dogecoin. My coworker is like, you think it's going to hit a dollar? I'm like, no, there's no way. Yeah, there's a way. There's like that market cap, 138 billion. That's, that would make it the third most expensive cryptocurrency, not expensive. The third largest cryptocurrency on the market, like right Bill under Dork. Ethereum. Oh, this is, uh, oh, that's fun. Yeah, on Coinbase, uh, if you go into Bitcoin and click white paper under resources, it is Satoshi's, uh, nine page thesis on it. Yeah. What if it was written by like a 15 year old? <laughs> Probably was, bro. He has an email. Really? Bitcoin, a peer to peer electronic cash system. After you should that. watch that, uh, documentary. documentary. What's the name? The rise and rise of Bitcoin. That shit's eerie when it talks about Satoshi. Hmm. In what way? Like, so 
when he first published it online, the white paper, he was like doing it himself, right? Yeah. And because it was open source, people can like join in and like contribute to the project. And for a while, he was talking to this guy on like through email and like on a forum. And mm-hmm. then one day he just fucking disappeared. Like he just stopped fucking responding. Mm. And then he's like, all right. And the guy's like, all right, I guess I'm the lead developer of Bitcoin now. And he mm. started going to all these conferences and talking about it. Damn. And yeah, but he like, he said he, he's never met him. He's never talked about anything other than business. And the last time fucking anyone ho- heard from Satoshi was there was this fucking, this this guy, this Asian guy who lives in, I think in LA and everyone thought he was Satoshi Nakamoto because his name was the same. (laughs) And like a bunch of news people like went to his house and were fucking like trying to like interview him and shit and just like bombarding him. And then Satoshi Nakamoto put on the forum. I am not fucking, I'm not this guy. Damn. That, yeah. (laughs) It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. That good internet stuff, man. Apparently he has a million Bitcoin. It's a lot. It's, that would be the most of <laughs> anyone, probably. That would be that would be almost ten percent. The Winklevoss twins, remember them? I don't know what I if I remember them, but I know of them. Yeah, they uh notorious for apparently they invented Facebook and Mark stole it from them. Is that what they are? Uh, yeah. Apparently that's the story. Um Apparently, they own 1% of all Bitcoins, according to them. <laughs> you know, according to me, I got a, 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 an okay percentage of myself. <laughs> I kind of believe them. I mean, They're pretty early adopters. I, I don't necessarily have a reason to or not to believe them. So, I shall remain, as I did before, oblivious and neutral to any of their partaking into anything. Damn. Any news, any things you need to get off your chest, dude? What's going on? What are you plotting on? What are you scheming? Trying to get this ingrown hair out of my stomach. Other than that... Probably just try a nice little pop. Ooh, no thank you. Gross. That would make that shit infected. I gotta tweeze that shit. Okay. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Everybody, That's it. That's it. That's get it. your money. Save your money. Invest your money. Blow 29 streams of income, man. Damn. Justin yeah. Bieber doesn't even have that many streams of income. <laughs> well, he's slacking, bro. Because what happens if 28 of your streams of income just collapse? You got your 29. It's a lot to keep track of. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to delegate. It's like, if you have that many streams of income... So one has to be lacking, right? Like, so, <laughs> you like could, you could probably be, cut some fat. You could cut some fat. Yeah. What if like what if all your streams of income are making three dollars a month? <laughs> when you could have three that are making a lot more. I don't true, know. That's true. Good idea. Get on it, Justin Bieber. Get on Justin Bieber. Step it up, bro. Thanks for listening. See everybody on Monday. Instagram, Rick and Bond, WS.live slash RNBC. If you want to be a live audience member, give us your email, give us your passwords, give us your Bitcoin. Why not? You know, we could we could use it just as much as you. But even more. I mean, it's probably the same amount. I'm hungry. Give Thanks it to for listening. me. Bye. <laughs>